Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my shop. Tonight I'm going to show you my homemade wood burning heater and how I built it. Uh, I got a, a basic idea on how to build this from other YouTube users and then I've incorporated some of my own ideas. The main body of the heater is an old propane tank and I've used propane tanks before for other projects such as uh, barbecue smokers, uh, fire pits, and before we go any further, I just want to say, if you're going to be cutting into a propane tank, make sure that you know that there's no residual gas left in that tank. I've taken great precaution to make sure that uh, when I cut into this tank, there was nothing left in it, and then we did it in a safe manner. On the back of the heater, I have an inexpensive blower, and it's attached to a section of an old steel 55-gallon barrel, and what this is for is to concentrate the air that's going through the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger consists of 18 2 inch pipes that run the length of the heater from front to back. Right now the temperature inside the shop is about 40 degrees and outside it's around 36 and dropping. Alright now we're going to go ahead and light up the heater and let it start warming up the shop. Okay, our fire's been burning now for about an hour, and uh, it's heating the pipes up for the heat exchanger very nicely. I've got the fan blowing on the back, and it's blowing the hot air through the pipes. Uh, at this point, uh, the, the, the heat is so hot coming out of the pipes that you can't stand within about five to six feet in front of the heater. Okay, I've got an oven thermometer inside one of the pipes. And as you can see, the heat inside that pipe is at 421 degrees, and that's with the fan blowing cool air in from the back side of the heater. If I turn the fan off, that uh, heat jumps up over 700 degrees. All right, we started out about an hour ago with the uh, temperature in here about 40 degrees, and now we're up to about 64. Okay, now I invite you to watch the rest of my video that shows step-by-step step, how I built my homemade wood-burning heater. Hello, today I'm starting my project of building a wood-burning heater for my shop so that I'm able to uh, come down to the shop and work during the winter time. Uh, first I give credit to those others that have built these ahead of me and have been willing to share their ideas and plans on YouTube because without them I wouldn't even know where to get started on this. I am uh, making a template. Uh, I've got some eighth inch hardboard that I've uh, bought from Lowe's. I've drawn out the, uh, the end of my, my heater and now I'm making a template uh, to help me uh, when cutting my uh, holes out of the, the steel there for my pipes for the heat exchanger. What I've done, I've cut some slices of pipe off the ends of the uh, pipes that I'm going to be using and I've laid them out on this template uh, just to get an idea of how many, how many pipes I'm going to need and how it's going to look. And uh, then I will uh, use a hole cutter and cut the holes out of this hardboard. I've measured these holes uh, so that I can use my uh, plasma cutter. I'm going to uh, use this hardboard as a, as a guide for my plasma cutter to cut these holes out. And uh, we'll get to see how, how I'm doing that later on. I've got that idea from, uh, from also from somebody else on YouTube. I never really thought about using uh, anything that, was, that could burn to, as a guide for a plasma cutter, but it does work.
Now I'm just going to clean those holes up a little bit with the angle grinder. Okay, now I have my steel all cleaned up and prepared to cut. I'm going to apply my template on top of it, get it clamped down. And I plan on using the same template for both ends of the, uh, of the heater. Seventeen more to go. Okay, today I managed to finish cutting all 36 holes out for the heat exchanger uh, in the steel plate. I don't think I told earlier, but that plate is a quarter inch plate. And it was uh, about all that my little ch uh, cheap cut 40 plasma cutter could do. But uh, it managed to do it. I still have a couple more holes to cut out for dampers, and then I also have to cut out the holes for the door. Uh, to be able to put the wood in. Tomorrow I'm going to get the uh, propane tank in here and uh, cut it down to size and we'll be able to start putting it together. Okay, I'm preparing now to cut a section out of this old propane tank. Uh, as you can see, I've cut the ends out already. Uh, like I said before, I used those to make fire pits out of. I've got my plasma cutter ready. Uh, I've cleaned up the tank to where I can cut it. I've got a guide on there that I'm going to move around as I cut a section at a time. And we're going to cut that out and uh, then we'll be ready to weld the ends onto it. Okay, I've got my 30 inch piece of the tank cut out now. I'll just save that other piece for a future project. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, cut my pipes for the heat exchanger and uh, probably do a dry fit just to make sure everything's going together properly before I go any further on this. Okay, I'm ready now to start cutting my pipes for the heat exchanger. Uh, I've decided I'm going to cut my pipes 31 and a half inches long, which is going to give me a half inch 
uh, sticking out on each end of the heater. Okay, I'm getting ready now to cut out the door on the end of the heater for the wood. Uh, the opening is going to be 16 inches by 12 inches. I've already got my stencil cut out and placed on the steel plate here and it's uh, ready now to go ahead and cut. Okay, now I got my door cut out. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit with the grinder. Okay, I'm getting ready now to put the door on the end of the heater. And I've already cut out uh, some 3 quarter inch by 3 16 inch flat stock. Uh, that's going to frame the around the door opening there and give the door something to close up against. Before I weld the door up to the end of the heater, I'm going to go ahead and weld it to the main body of the heater. I've got a little bow in that plate now after welding that flat stock onto it, so I'm going to have to pull that out. done a few things uh, without filming and I've got both ends welded on now and uh, I've got my hinges made for the door and uh, ready to put my door on you can see the way I made the hinges there now I'm gonna go ahead and put the door on Now I've just got to make a latch for the door to hold it shut and put my pipes in for the heat exchanger and build a stand for it. Alright, today I'm going to weld my pipes in. I've got all of them in where I want them right now. Uh, first I'm going to just tack all of them, then I'm going to stand the whole heater up on its end and uh, finish the welding.
Okay, I've got all the pipes tacked and the heater turned up on its end. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish welding them. I went down to the scrap pile and pulled out some old channel. We're going to use it to make a stand for the heater. Okay, I have my dampers finished and all I did was just made some very simple sliding doors that will control the airflow into the heater. Now it's time to go ahead and put the heater up on the stand. Okay, I'm ready now to build the latch for the door. I've already cut out a piece of flat stock and welded a couple of bolts to it. Uh, this will fit inside the heater just beside the door and the, that is what the latch will rest up against. I found a piece of 5 8 round stock out in the scrap pile. It already had a 90 degree bend in it. I just cut it down to size. And I'm going to take some washers and I'll weld those on to this uh, round stock. I will just sandwich the door in between these and that's what will hold that to the door. Now I just have to cut uh, some holes in the door and then assemble this latch. All right, it's time now to put on my door assembly. First thing I'm going to do is put this block inside here for my uh, locking mechanism to rest up against when I close the door. Put the door on. And I'll go ahead and put the grate inside. Alright, I've cut out a section from a steel 55 gallon drum 
and attached it to the back of the heater so I can concentrate the air through the heat exchanger. And as you can see, I have a uh, blower attached to that. 